Yo, we're playing a game where I'm going to complain non-stop because they have a fucking Garchomp again. Uh, how, do I, how do I beat that Metagross? Like, like genuinely, like, what do I do to it? Okay, Gyarados kind of trashes like half their team. Unironically. What else do I bring that doesn't get completely shit stomped by him? Arcanine gets walled. Slowbro doesn't offer much. Uh, do I bring Hip Out on? I remember what happened last time I brought Hip Out onto a fight. It didn't quite go over too well. To an important one. That was not the last one we did. Alright. Do I really want Rapierior here? I kind of want the Garchomp though. Let me think. Rapierior beats uh, Drapion. I mean, everything beats Drapion. Come on now. Uh, hey, Padawan doesn't really offer much to this fight. Just straight up. We're gonna do this. Like, oh, hey, Padawan beats Metagross and is slower and can be blown up on. Good idea. Let's definitely bring that. It'll definitely be useful when I need to soak an explosion real quick. Hey, hook me up, buddy. I, I need that good good called a meat shield. Alright, let's go right now. What is this? Uh, I'm gonna get Thunder Punch. I don't like this, actually. I don't like anything that's about to happen here. But, this is why I brought myself a ground type, not named Hip Out on. So I can beat this thing 1v1 as he doesn't Thunder Punch me into oblivion. Hell, it could blow up, too. Okay, you read my inputs. Quit cheating. Alright. That's not a good start, especially when I'm, uh... Weak to this little thing called, uh, skill moves. He's kind of cheating, because he definitely would not have done that. Hold on. Oh my god, chill out, buddy. Stop. I'm about to get swept by Metagross. Oh no. Are you joking me? Why? You have to have the correct berry every time! Oh no. It's just, no it's just more complaining. It never ends. It literally never ends. All right, so here's the thing. I can still win this, all right? All that matters is that th this thing does not boost here. That's a big thing. And I can set up Gyarados in front of a... Uh, what is that guy called? I can set Gyarados up in front of the Drapion. If I can get that scenario, I will be in a good spot. Otherwise, um... I'm in for a rude, uh, just a rude message that the game is trying to send right now. Alright, you definitely die to this, buddy. Get out of here. You know, a part of me didn't think it would kill, and I was half tempted to put Slowbro in here. But hey, when you think with your brain for 0.4 seconds, it, it kind of works out in your favor. Put him in, put him in. Oh, no. Oh, no. Buddy, don't you do it. You have Ice Beam, my friend? I can't really switch them in anyways. Never mind, pretend I wasn't speaking. Alright, Gara, you gotta hit some Aqua Tails. And not get swept by Dragon Rush Flinch again, because that's all this thing did last time. The last time I fought one, you got put in Flinch Hell, and he missed. It just missed. I am going to start crying right now. Because, like, we just lost. By the way, there's literally no way to win this now. We literally just do not win. Why do they aimbot every 75 accuracy move? Just miss once! I miss every 90! But these fuckers hit every 75 like it's a damn 100! I don't get it! <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna cry for real though. Come on. That's just that's just not cool. Alright, slow bro. You gotta crit this thing. And then you have to outspeed and crit the right here gear, alright? That's all you have to do. <sighs> well, it could miss a Dragon Rush. It's not gonna go for Dragon Rush, or it well, it did. Well, chat. I did nothing wrong that entire game, and I got fucked over for it. That's just what the game's good at now. Just hacking me into oblivion with some bullshit mon that hits every move that it should obviously be missing. Because that's why that move is not viable in competitive mons. Dragovich doesn't run fucking Dragon Rush because it always misses. Neither does fucking Dragapult. Why does this thing get to hit it every fucking time? Okay, I have a perfect point. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're not complaining. We we are not complaining. I did not know I had a perfect point still. Anyways, I have a plan for this fight. It's called winning. Don't ask why I brought the slow, bro. 
Especially after it backfired so much last time. Do not ask why I brought that overhead power on. Listen, it's a part of the plan. Dude. I am just getting so vocal about this game's nonsense RNG that it's certainly gotten to a point of just being unbearable. Alright, I don't want to boost in front of this thing, but I don't really have much of a choice here. I kind of have to. Okay, no thunderbolts. Love to see it. I don't really know if you can have it. But, you know, you just got to be careful in case. It could be Bright Powder or Focus Band. Don't you dare, my guy. Don't you dare do that at all. Okay, we hit a 90. Well, yeah, we hit a 90. Good, good shit. Okay, no band. Love to see it. Now, game. There's this little mon called Drapion. I want to see him be put on the field so I can hit it really hard with an earthquake, all right? Good. 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 I'm a glad that we've reached an ag I'm a glad, yeah. I'm glad we reached this agreement here, okay? Die, friend. You don't live that ever. It just... I don't know why they put Drapion in here, man. That thing should have been at the rank 8 cutoff uh, with rank 7. Come on. It does nothing. Oh no, a Metagross with Shukaberry that I can't possibly kill this turn. Alright, no, we're not getting our perfect point back. That's so cringe. I don't think I could have gotten it even if I crit Aquatilda here, but whatever. We might as well take the damage and just kill it right here. Might as well just go for the easy option here. Buddy, can you just, like, use a better psychic move? Wait! He threw! We're getting the perfect point back! Let's go! Looks like complaining's all it takes to win nowadays, huh? And with that said, I just outplayed the opponent. Thank you, computer. I'm glad you stuttered that. I'm glad you're still stuttering. Thank you. You know, I didn't I didn't want this to be a watchable video, personally. Just in my humble opinion. Personally, I like it when you stutter, because it's just like... Like, who wants to watch an actual video, yeah? I, I don't want to talk over nothing. Come on. Anyways, wowzers, I won because I just simply outplayed the opponent with the exact same strategy I used last time. Shadow Ball. A mixed attacker with Shadow Ball, huh? And Psychic. Double team. Culverberry. So it was doomed to be horrible. Naughty nature. Like, it doesn't even have, like, Poison Jab. Why would I ever take a Drapion without a Poison move? That is genuinely asking for a wasted poison type. Alright, whatever. We're on the final fight somehow. Uh, now it's time to get swept by a Starmie. What can I do here? That'll work. I could lead a pout on here. Because then uh, I, you know, I'm always being a water move. I could switch to Gyarados in front of the Starmie. I don't know what I do afterwards. It's going to have like Thunderbolt, right? I guess I don't have any other options here. I bring Kip out on. It allows me to answer Pikachu ma mainly. I'm trying to lead for that specifically. Helps me crush Lucario. That's a nice target to hit. Not like it's really something I'm concerned about. Um, Melonic's a, a minor issue. I don't really know how I'm supposed to kill that ever. But hey, we will see. Yeah, I think we just get 6 0 by the Starmie. I'm not really sure. Especially considering this person has, like, all water types in their team. Like, genuinely, who hurt you? Like, like, who the fuck do I take? I cannot beat this water trainer. I, I guess Slowbro. I have no way to beat water types without an, another, another water type. Like, come on. Everything else I have is weak to water besides my two water types. Genuinely, this is problematic. Like, why couldn't I fight the fighting type trainer? What is this bullshit, dude? Why are I going to get 6 owed by a water type? Just one water type. Okay, so I have a plan here. What if I stay in and hit this thing? I kind of don't have many other answers. I'm bringing him out. This is the only reason I brought Slowbro, so you know what? We'll just play it smart and switch out. But you know what would be smart? If this thing had slack off so I could spam it in the sand. Personally, that's what I would have wanted, but the game's just being so lame and will not give me a slack off slow bro to use. I want to watch this melodic struggle to even get a, an ounce of damage on me, alright? With my cool, awesome, super, uber, mega, awesome slow bro, alright? Look at him, he's so cool. 
Let's hit a Psychic. What does this thing have? Surf? I could disable that if I want. I'm gonna disable that, actually. I think that would be a smart decision if I shut down his only damaging move. Because then it can't do anything. I mean, I'm not damaging it. I don't really need to. Special defense drop? Please? Hey, if I can get the drop on it. Uh, then this thing instantly hard loses to Slowbro, who's just so cool and awesome. Look how beautiful it is. This is the most beautiful looking thing I've ever laid my eyes on in history. Okay, I would have actually disabled Aqua Ring. You know what? I think I clicked the right move. Because, um, yeah, it's not really going to heal much after Sandstorm, right? Okay, you are so cringe. Just stop. Just get off the screen, buddy. Okay, well, it dies next turn. Lucky me. And if I proc my 20% Quick Claw, then... Why is the sand hitting you first? Huh? Does this mean I'm going to hit the Quick Claw this turn? Question mark? No. <laughs> no, that's not how this works. Except for the fact that is how it works. Actually, I don't know if that's like a true statement of how it works, but... Kind of based, man. Not going to lie. Ooh. Anyways, apparently, the Pokemon World Championships are going to show off a, a, you know, a little sneak peek of the next TCG sets for uh, the Scarlet and Violet. That's pretty neat. Speaking of Scarlet and Violet, the, uh, the trailers for those games, huh? They were beans. I didn't really care for it. Oh my god, guys. New gimmick that's going to put me to sleep instead of actually make the game interesting to play. Whoa. That's so insane, dude. That's all I see when I see a gimmick. All right. No safeguard. Why? All right, let's bring the hippo man back in. Let's bring the hippo man back in the field. Look at this lass. She is so awesome. I'll put Lucario in the grave right now. Oh, why are you hitting a focus blast? Stop hitting your focus miss, please. Bro, I am getting hacks to oblivion right now. Anyway, this thing absolutely dies. You're not surviving that, friend. Listen, I simply had to hit Pout on. Which means you were instantly at a disadvantage this entire time. Because it is just so cool and awesome. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Alright. Can I get one hit in? Okay, unironically though, I kind of want to hit Yawn. But what if it's Lum? It, it's probably abandoned. Let's be honest. But... I might as well play this safely. Let's give him some damage. Let's give him more damage. And then some more. And then some more. And then... You get the point. Thank you, computer. I'm glad you decided to stutter for no reason. You can stop doing that. Appreciate it. Let's just keep earthquaking him. Maybe he misses again or not. Alright, it's part of my strategy. Okay, hold on. This is... this. It just sounds crunchy. Let's just fix this real quick. Um, Any day. Just connect again. Guys, did y'all know this is the reference video, by the way? I don't think y'all know, but this is the reference video. This one's being referenced across every video ever. This one right here. With my one... Oh, come come on! Thank you. All right. My my battery's about to die in this Wii remote, by the way. In case you're curious, I only have one other pair of batteries laying around, so... um, Bit of a problem. Is the audio still crunchy? I can, it, I can hardly tell at this point. All right. I think it's settled down. So let's send this man packing with an Aqua Tail and just win this whole battle. Observe my plan to send this man packing, all right? All it takes is one Earthquake and not getting hexed to Oblivion by Takedown Crit. Obviously. All right. I did so much. I think it's going to be banded, right? No shot. No shot It's anything else. All right, buddy. You tried your heart out. But I simply outplayed you. And now, we finally make it to the final battle. He'll lose again. Depressing. This is the most depressing arc on the channel you will ever witness in your life. Nothing could ever top this besides the sheer cold arc. But we're going to ignore that for now. <laughs> we're just going to ignore that for now, alright? Hey, um. Hey, Mr. Joe, you want to take a, like, a shiny on your team, please? So I could freak out before losing. I really don't have a... Dude, this thing's got bright powder. It actually has a protecting move. But man, it does not even have flash cannon. What is this? 
Uh, you were, um, banded, yeah, okay. I kind of want a Lucaria, but being quiet's, like, not good. Alright, final battle. Is there a shiny on it? Is there a shiny? You're the worst. <sighs> oh, man, I can't wait to fight the Toro Snorlax core, dude. Oh, yeah, that's so fun. I love fighting the most unwinnable fucking team I've ever seen in my life. That's so cool, dude. <sighs> God. End my suffering, dude. End it now. So I have to hope this is Choice Band Tauros and it locks into Takedown Turn 1. That's literally what I have to hope for. I have to hope that third, uh, the second Mon is not Swamper. You know, preferably Metagross, because that's probably the only Mon I can beat here. And then I have to hope that I can actually beat the Snorlax somehow. I think the only way I pull that off is with Hip Out on. I don't see anyone else beating it. This team has a huge Swampert issue. Um, it doesn't really do well against Mence. <laughs> this is a disaster. I mean, it, it, it kind of beats Mence. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, the Hip Out on. We're f not Hip Out on. The other guy, uh, Rhyperior, damn. Why is English so hard to speak? Genuinely. Alright. Toros lead. More like Snoros lead, boys. GG got him. Got him, boys. They never saw it coming. Don't sit here like, dude, if you guard that Lucario, you would win this. No, buddy. Lucario would just die to a crit turn one, alright? And it would be outsped by everything. It's always a throw to grab that, that Lucario there. Zen headbutt. Ooh. I don't think it's banded if he's going for that, ever. Oh, that did nothing. I'm about to get Earthquakes. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. I'm about to get Earthquake. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're just don't die to it. Don't die to it. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. Don't tell me that you just... Okay. Good. Good. You want to crit him, please? That'd be great. You want to hit him real quick? Or do absolutely no damage instead? Sorry. I got scared for a minute. I thought we were going to lose instantly because the game did a cheat. By making him switch moves instead of being banded. Alright, Rhyperior. I think you're solid... He's not Lightning Rod, right? He doesn't even have Solid Rock. I don't even see which ability this thing had. Regardless, the Intimidate is putting in some work. And that's all that matters. Look at my man. He is just so cool. It is the greatest thing I have ever looked at in my life. It's actually been a while since I've used a Rhyperior just straight up. Alright. Oh, can I? I need to intimidate him, but I could beat this thing. Actually, no, I hear your dice here, like, any day of the week, right? Shit, can I get out of this? I don't need Rhyperior for the other guy. But I kind of need him for Ments. I don't need Gyarados for Lax either. I need to intimidate this guy right now. I don't think I can intimidate him to do too little. What's his fourth move? What's that fourth move, pal? Are you like minus attack or something? That help a lot too. In my personal opinion, I think you using Rock Tomb. Oh, Dragon. Yeah, Dragon Claw. Yeah, that move. Rock. That's fucking Rock Tomb. Okay. I think you doing that's kind of cringe. I could go for the Water Pulse Confuse Chance. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, we gotta hit him right now. Just in case my uh Rhyperior Strat goes backwards. Oh no, crits. It's bad. Yeah, we lost. We definitely just lost. Oh no, I threw, I threw, I threw. Okay, but here's the real question. If... No, that ain't gonna work. I have to go for this. I literally have to click this here. I should have gone for water pulls. That confusion chance to be game changing. Okay, now I think I threw. See, now I think we're at the part where I threw because, um... Oh. I mean, I don't think it matters. Unless I crit him here, that does not matter. It will not matter at all. Unless this crits. Gyarados, do it, please. <sighs> Fuck me. Alright, we're done. It's over. It's over. I tried. It's not working out. If Houdon theoretically can come in here and kill Salamence. But the question is, do I take too much damage to be able to win with Salamence? Not Salamence. Right here, you're plus the other guy. Snorlax will be taking Sandstorm damage, but it's probably gonna have fucking Leftovers or Citrus Berry. Which is a bit of a problem. Having this sandstorm here is actually huge. I have to thunderfang him. Alright, I have another option. Don't you fucking dare get the stat drop, buddy. Don't you... Okay. Okay. No crit. That's huge. No stat drop. It's also big. 
All right, we actually have a chance here. Small chance, but a chance nonetheless. Here's the thing. I don't know what Snorlax's item is going to be. If, and I say if, a strong if, I need to hit it with a yawn. I might need to. But I don't know if it's Lumberry. If it's Lum, I get fucked incredibly hard. I have to hit him at least once. I have to hit him one time at minimum. Crit, please. No difference. All right. Because if I put him to sleep, then the Rhyperior can come in and actually fight it. Okay, don't do it. Cool. Okay, we gotta see if there's a berry here. Because... Uh, no lefties? Okay, I gotta hit this thing again. We're hitting him again. I think right here you can come in and kill this thing. If... Again. Okay, yeah, I could have gone for the on there. We're, it's fine. I'm not throwing yet. I haven't thrown just yet. Hold on. Okay, Hippowdon, you're doing an excellent job right now, my friend. And it dodged your paralysis a second time. That is insane. Here's the real question. I have to take a peek at something. Because I don't know how fast this Snorlax is. Oh, it's... Oh, Rhyperior slower, too. Do I switch in Rhyperior and sack him? Because Hippowdon will kill this next turn after Sandstorm damage. Just straight up. It will die. I think it dies right here. And if it doesn't, it just dies to Sandstorm now. Okay, you know, never mind. It's fine, quit overthinking it. I somehow clutched up in this impossible 6-0 matchup, alright? I simply outplayed his men's, and that's all that mattered. So, um... That was extremely sketchy. I'm actually surprised that worked. There was no reason it should have worked. But, um... Better player difference, alright. Well, how about that? We have two teams left before I drop the save file for good. All right, lucky me. Uh, I don't think any of these are worth taking at all. They're all kind of beans. Ah, uh, yes! Sorry, I just... Shockwave, Adamant Tauros, and Defog Mens. You know what? I don't think I've ever seen a Mens... <laughs> it was minus attack as well. <laughs> it was minus attack. Thank you for watching.